Hello everyone, in this video, let's eliminate the confusion between unknown and any in TypeScript. So as we all know in TypeScript, everything is typed, whatever variable we are creating of our function argument that we are passing or a return type of the function, all the values have a certain type. Unknown and any are two special types. These types can hold any type of value, okay? So in this example, I have my var variable, which is of type any. Now I have assigned a number to this variable. In line number two, I have assigned a string to this variable. And in line number three, I have assigned a boolean to this variable. Similarly, same thing I have done with unknown. Okay, so these two special types can hold any type of value. Now let's understand the difference between these two. So in this example, we are using any as a function argument. We have a function invoke anything which has callback as an argument. And we have given any as the type of this callback argument. Okay, in line number two, we are treating it as a function. We're calling this callback, okay? Okay, now what we are doing, we are calling this function invoke anything. And in invoke anything, we can pass any any type, right? Boolean, string, any type. So in this case, I have passed one because it is of any type. So this will also not throw any types type error because I have passed one, which is of any type, right? I can pass anything here. So it will not complain. But in line number two, it will complain. It will throw in runtime error. Okay, it will throw a runtime error because it is expecting it to be a function, callback function. So it will say callback is not a function. Okay, so there will be no compile time errors. Okay, no compile time type errors here, but there would be a runtime error that callback is not a function. So this is a problem with any, right? We are getting errors in runtime and we are not getting proper type errors in compile time when we are using. So this is a disadvantage or a drawback of any. Now let's try the same thing with unknown. Okay, so I have the same function here, invoke anything, same function argument callback, and the same function call invoke anything where I'm passing a number. Okay, so now also with unknown, it can accept anything, what number, boolean string. Okay, so I'm passing same number one here. Uh, in line number two, you can see it, I'm getting a type error. Callback is of type unknown. Okay, so this is a compile time error that I get when I use unknown. Okay. So unknown is not allowing a user to go ahead with this because of the compile time error that we are getting in, uh, in this case, uh, which is callback is of type unknown. Uh, so what we have to do, what in order to bypass that type error, we have to perform an extra layer of type checking. Okay. So in this line number two, as you can see, I'm doing if type of callback is equal to function, then only call this function, call this callback as a function. Okay. Uh, so I have this condition, if callback is kind of a function, is of type function, then only treat it as a function. So now unknown has enforced us to do this type check. Okay, so it has made the code more safer and we are able to catch the issue in, in the compile time itself instead of the runtime errors. So I think conclusion is clear that unknown is more recommended over uh, any because of the more type safety that it provides and we are able to catch issues in the compile time itself instead of getting the errors in runtime okay so that's it for the difference between any and unknown and when to use any and when to use unknown and if you're using unknown how to do type checking um, uh, if you like the video please uh, uh, like the video and subscribe to our channel and uh, thanks for watching